Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Father Abba, we come to you today, Lord, asking that you will help this nation as far as all the tribulations that we're going through, especially those that are suffering and are dying, Lord. We ask you to help strengthen their spirit, help strengthen their mind, help strengthen their bodies. In your son's name we pray, amen, and so be it. Hey, y'all. Coach in the fight here talking about Hanukkah and if we could have a major event to occur during Hanukkah talking about a spiritual event like the Great Awakening or the Rapture or the sailing of the 144,000 and in this class we're going to go down through certain scriptures to show if these events are possible to occur during this eight day long festival we know as Hanukkah now I would advise you to watch this entire video we will be covering several aspects of these subjects again they are the Great Awakening the rapture and the ceiling of the hundred and forty four thousand so you want to stick around for the entire video to get this information I can't be held responsible if you watch half of the video and go off half cocked not knowing what it was that I was talking about or not seeing the scriptural texts used to prove these points and you don't want to be like those described in Proverbs 18 and 13 and submit a detracting comment before you understand the points that are made that would be to your folly and to your shame but anyway like I said in this video what we want to do is we want to see if it is possible that one of these events could occur during the festival of Hanukkah and I do believe that it is possible that they all could occur we could very well have the selling of the 144,000 and or the Great Awakening could occur during this festival and I'm almost absolutely sure there will be some type of rapture event that will happen during this festival now to aid us in this class we're going to use the Merriam-Webster dictionary definition of the word rapture and what we're going to do is we're going to take these line by line as we go in and add scripture to these definitions to see how these events actually could occur during the feast of Hanukkah there are three definitions the first one is an expression or manifestation of ecstasy or passion the second definition has two parts and we will address those separately a state or experience of being carried away by overwhelming emotion is the first part the second part is a mystical experience in which the spirit is exalted to a knowledge of divine things being the second part and then the third definition of the word rapture which is the one most of you guys are used to would be the final assumption of Christians into heaven during the end time according to Christian theology so we're going to address these in order and as we go down through here we'll also be talking about the Great Awakening and the 144,000 because I believe that some of these definitions actually include those events the way the third definition talks about the final assumption of Christians all right now first of all let's get an understanding of why this festival is so important of course it is a post exilic festival so you will not find it mentioned in Leviticus 23 this festival was actually instituted after the dedication of the second temple in fact that's what this holiday is all about is the rededication of that temple after they had recaptured it from a guy named Antiochus Epiphanes like we mentioned it is an eight day celebration that starts on the 25th day of the month Keslev which is the ninth month on the sacred calendar and it's commemorating the rededication of the temple 
Now, these events happened between 168 and 165 BC. Now, even though it is a post exilic festival, you can see that the Messiah actually kept this festival if you look over in the book of John and chapter 10 particularly it's in verse 22 that you see that he was at the feast of dedication well that's what Hanukkah means is dedication Hanukkah is the feast of dedication but anyway let's step down through like we said these definitions taking them one by one so we can see how there will be a rapture or a great awakening and or the selling of the 144,000 during the Feast of Hanukkah. Definition one says an expression or manifestation of ecstasy or passion. Now, of course, ecstasy means overwhelming feeling of great happiness or joyful excitement. And passion is talking about a strong or barely controllable emotion. When you look over in the book of 2 Maccabees and chapter 10 verses 6 through 8. When you hear about the feast of Maccabees. You see that it is a 8 day long celebration full of joy and rejoicing. During this whole week the people who celebrate this festival will be singing. They will be rejoicing. They will be in a state of ecstasy or passion. So in other words, many people will experience a rapture type event during the Feast of Hanukkah. Like the Feast of Tabernacles, it is one of the most rapture filled holy days on the sacred calendar. So there will definitely be a rapture type event during the Feast of Hanukkah, but let's look at some of the other definitions of the word because they could also occur during this eight day long festival. Like definition two, which says a state or experience of being carried away by overwhelming emotion. Now, this definition kind of points to the selling of the 144,000. Now, that could be a bit of a stretch, but then when you jump back to Revelation and chapter 7, it's also talking about the 144,000, and it's talking about how they are sealed in their foreheads and in their hands before the four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds allowed those winds to hurt the earth and the sea and the trees so could it be possible that this sailing would occur during the feast of Hanukkah well if you look at the book called second Esdras and chapter 2 verses 37 through 39 that you see that is during the Lord's feast that we receive the seals verse 38 says rise stand and see the number of those sealed at the feast and of course that number being 144,000 so being that Hanukkah is a feast of the Lord and some at least one of the 144,000 could experience the Lord's feast for the first time during the feast of Hanukkah it could very well be during this festival that they received their seal so speaking statistically, it is highly probable that some of the 144,000 will be sealed during the Feast of Hanukkah. And this sealing process will be a state or experience of being carried away by overwhelming emotion. But even those people who are not members of the 144,000 will experience a similar state of being carried away by overwhelming emotion. This is yet another way that a rapture will occur during the Feast of Hanukkah with the sailing of the Lord's people. Now, the next definition of the word is a mystical experience in which the spirit is exalted to a knowledge of divine things, which is another form of rapture. 
this one actually points to the great awakening that all of humanity is expected to go through you see where it's talking about a mystical experience in which the spirit is exalted to a knowledge of divine things this knowledge of divine things comes by way of intuition our conscious and dreams but as part as my personal testimony I'll let you know that it was during Hanukkah of the year 2019 when I started receiving dreams every night sometimes four or five and six times a night and this has been occurring almost every night ever since and I can say since that time I have experienced greater intuition and I believe that I have been more in tune with my conscious that's all part of the spiritual exaltation all part of what we call the great awakening so could this great awakening occur throughout all of humanity during this time for that let me jump you over to a book called the third testament of the bible and we're going to come down and we're going to look at chapter 2. You can find a link to this book in the description of this video. Both an audio and a PDF that you can download to your computer for free. But I want to drop you down to verse 5 of chapter 2. It says, Do you remember that cloud in which my disciples saw me ascend? The last time that I manifested myself to them? In truth, it was written that I would come again in a cloud and this I have fulfilled this third testament of the Bible is actually describing the second coming of Christ It's talking about how his second coming occurred in the year 1884 but if you are aware of a guy named William Miller and the great disappointment of 1884, many Bible scholars were expecting the second coming of the Messiah in 1844. The reason they were expecting that the second coming of the Messiah to occur in 1844 was because of the prophecy given in Daniel and chapter 8 and verse 14. But we've covered this in many classes that the reason that they got it wrong was because they chose the wrong starting point. They chose to count the 2,300 days from the decree of King Artaxerxes, which landed them 40 years too early. But we see in the book of Ezra in chapter 6 that there were several decrees made by several kings including Cyrus and Darius along with Artaxerxes. I believe they chose Artaxerxes because choosing the decree given by Artaxerxes as the starting point and adding 2,300 days placed the second coming of Christ in the lifetime of William Miller but as I mentioned in the other class that we did on the subject the decree of a king would be meaningless in the eyes of the father and they should have started the calculation based on what they saw in verse 15 of chapter 6 of the book of Ezra and that's when the house of the Lord was finished on the third day of the month Adar which is the sixth year of the reign of the king well if you use that as the starting point and add 2,300 days you end up in the year 1884 when we started receiving the teachings that make up what we know today as the third testament of the Bible in other words the second coming of the Messiah the man we know as the word made flesh came again in the form of the Word of God in 1884 and my point is is that during the Feast of Hanukkah many people will come to that realization some even after watching this video many will go in and find that the PDF version of this book or the audio version of this book and read it and they definitely will have an experience in which their spirit is exalted to a knowledge of divine things 
In other words, many people will be raptured during the Feast of Hanukkah. But not everybody, because if you jump back over in chapter 1 of the Third Testament of the Bible, you would see that materialism will act as a blindfold of darkness for the eyes of some people, and they will not recognize the second coming of the Christ by way of the Third Testament of the Bible. So when you see anybody denying this fact, it is probably because they're into materialism. But no worries. That's what the Great Awakening is all about. Whereas our material man is exalted at this part of our spiritual evolution during the Great Awakening, our spirits will be exalted. That is the Great Awakening. So on a lesser extent, the Great Awakening will occur throughout humanity. But will this be the festival in which all of humanity will go through this Great Awakening? I don't think so, because this materialism will continue to be a blindfold for the majority of humanity. And for them, it would only take a global earthquake that destroys every building and all of their material possessions before that blindfold is removed from their eyes and they are awakened to the fact that the Messiah has returned. But anyway, let's go on to the third definition of the word rapture, and that is the final assumption of Christians into heaven during the end times according to Christian theology. Now, is this possible that this event could happen during the Feast of Hanukkah? Now, I'm being very careful not to talk about the year in which these events will occur. Of course, everything we've mentioned so far can happen in any year, but I believe the events talked about in definition three is pointing to a particular year. If we come over to 1 Corinthians and chapter 15, we read one of the most common verses that is talked about when someone is teaching about the rapture. Verse 15 says, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall rise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. You've probably heard this verse a hundred times. But one thing that I want to bring out to you in this verse is how it's talking about the last trump, how these events happen during the last trump. When someone's talking about the rapture and when it is that we're supposed to be raptured, and they're talking about this event that's supposed to happen at the last trump, at the last trumpet blast. The question we should be asking is, when was the first trump? But anyway, maybe it is possible that the other six trumpets have blown. And we're now awaiting this final assumption of Christians into heaven. So the question is, could this event happen during Hanukkah? Now, again, I'm not telling you in which year this event will occur. I'm not a prophet, and I don't know the future. But from what I read in the book of Haggai in chapter 2, I can say with a certain level of certainty that a large number of Christians will make their final assumption into heaven. In other words, this global earthquake that Haggai prophesied about in chapter 2, which will occur on the eve of Hanukkah, will cause the assumption of billions into heaven. So per the third definition of the word rapture, talking about the rapture, as when you see it in capitalized form, will occur during the feast of Hanukkah. So the question is, will there be the rapture of the church, the great awakening, and or the sealing of the 144,000 during the feast of Hanukkah? I say absolutely, without the shadow of a doubt. But what say you? If you would, jump down in the comment section and tell me what you think. If I've missed something or if you have something you can add, please add to the discussion down there in the comment section. And if you got something out of this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you didn't, go ahead and hit the dislike button. Remember to subscribe to this channel so you can see when future videos come out. Look for end screen videos so you can see how it is that we are supposed to celebrate Hanukkah and other classes related to Hanukkah. 
And may our Father bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May our Father lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.